Hello, something guys or gals, it's Lance here again, and it's time yet for yet another commentary, because what is more entertaining than listening to someone who's just begging this out of this sort of opinion side, or trying to be philosophical about it. So, MTV, everyone knows MTV and MTV2 are not really about music that much anymore. They've pretty much gone on to the bad wagon of reality TV or things that aren't really that important and like I said it just it just doesn't matter to me and with but there comes a time where you start to realize they're starting to get at their lowest of the low point. Now they have released um, this TV show called Guy Code um, quite a few some odd years back and it's pretty much not even really a show it's just I guess it's like a documentary it's supposed to be like this idea of how you're supposed to be a man and follow the code although this is taken subjectively and objectively from the points of other men even though it's not exactly a it's not like it's not a consensus it's just like six or seven different guys spilling their personal beans about how they had to deal with something of this or that or those and somehow we're supposed to take that as fact that there's this thing called Geico that somehow exists and whatever you don't have to you don't have to um, breach that because there's so many different men that have different personal experiences beyond what they have experienced and you're not supposed to take it as legitimate because they're not it's not it's just stupid it's vapid and it was supposed to, it's just harmless stupid material it's not it's not like it's not like it's trying to give you a reality t it's not like you're watching someone doing things that you could be doing right now it's just these people throwing out their little facts and I guess it's somewhat comedic with their weird visual uh, imprint over it. And then there came Girl Code, and that's essentially the same thing, but giving a false representation of men and men of women rather than men. And so what? It was it was expected that there would be eventually a Girl Code, and they had these little things where they're going to debate who's the better, even though it doesn't fucking matter, because remember. Two people are debating who's better, man or woman. This is not a consensus or something like that. It's not anything of that sort. Mm. Steak fries, but that's irrelevant. But then it started to get um, worse. There was this uh, spin-off show called uh, Ain't That America. Just my sentiment exactly. With uh, featuring Lil Duvall, and Lil Duvall was in Guy Code. He was a nobody until Guy Code. So, not to mention that Ain't That America essentially runs the same way like Ridiculousness does. And, well, I I guess I can respect Rob Dyrdek in some ways, but we already have enough of these shows where they just have these celebrities laughing at these compilation photos of people just banking it with, what, stunt moves or just tripping over and falling or getting hit in the nuts and whatnot. I mean, we already have enough of that, and the fact that MTV2 has to have two of practically the same thing, not to mention one essentially being a spin-off of Guy Code, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. It's like they don't even want to, they don't even want to bother trying to make, they're not even going to bother trying to make something different or edgy or whatnot. They just want to do the same thing that, you know, most people like, but shouldn't like. Because I don't really think that they're funny because it's it's dependent on my uh, my likeness of it. I can't really I can't really say that the show, the clips that they show are going to be essentially funny. It's going to be funny to them, but th is it funny to me? Not really. So and not to and not to mention that the clips that they do show sometimes overlap. There's like uh, clips that ridiculousness have already gone over that. Ain't that America will, and somehow we're supposed to believe that's not actually happening. It's like, oh no, it's too different. It's like, whatnot. 
And then it, and then this is where it gets the lowest of the low. There's this um, new show that's coming out called Guy Court. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, a thing that used to be harmless is just, I guess, informational, but based on a subjective point of view. Now it becomes this whole fictional thing where they start to cue. It's like it's like a combination of guy code and ridiculousness. They take video clips and pictures of people doing weird things on camera, and they're supposed to accuse them of breaking guy code. And you know what? It's just going to keep getting worse from there because I know that as soon as guy court comes out, there's going to be a girl court that's going to come out too. I guarantee you there will be a girl coat, a girl coat, yeah. girl court after guy court. Just it's been getting really bad with uh, MTV these days. It's been, I mean, we've already s seen their drop from you know success with you know bringing out the music videos that we like to enjoy and watch to reality TV. Not to mention having three fucking different Team Moms. Team Mom 1, 2, and 3. I've never actually seen a fucking TV show that had sequels to the TV show. You would think that they'd just make new seasons off of the old, uh, off the first one. But no, they have to make three of them so they can just keep pumping you with this idea that the male is never committed, uh, never committed in the pregnancy and that the woman's always the one having to do the most work. And that's the worst part about those teen mom things. Not to mention that they're being populated at such a frequency, now we're supposed to believe that's the case. That whenever a girl gets pregnant, she's always the most committed and the man does not do shit. He doesn't expect to do shit. And that's not a really good view of reality. That's not a good view of reality. Sometimes a wo woman doesn't do anything because I guess she thought, she thinks that, you know, because she has a baby, that's pretty much all the weight carrying on and the man doesn't has to do everything has to get like three different jobs and move out and whatnot and get his own car and pay for finances and whatnot and just that's the that's the excuse and they have three different fucking shows like sequel shows I've never seen a fucking TV show that needed a sequel to a show that's silly <laughs> Very silly. They could have just made more seasons off of the first one. And yeah, that's pretty much the <laughs> issue. This is getting really bad for MTV today. That we have to start to see spin off shows of shows that aren't really that good to begin with. We're seeing sequels of TV shows. We're seeing. Um, TV shows that pretty much do the same things as our TV shows are on the same goddamn channel already showing the same clips and like we're not expected to notice that or something it's just horrible it's just horrible my recommendation to you is not even bother to watch Guy Court don't watch Guy well you can watch Guy Code if you fucking believe that whatever they're saying is somehow um, fact but remember it's subjective point of view it's not going to work the same way with a different pair of friends or whatnot they're just they're just eight or seven different men are speaking out of their own ass about whatever they feel like it needs to be manly so you enjoyed commentary. Bing.